Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can work with Enscape 4.1 for SketchUp for creating realistic interior render in Enscape. So, I'm going to press F on my keyboard and I have multiple cameras and scenes in my Enscape view management. So, we are on the 14 in here, if I click on the 15 or 16, I can switch between different type of camera modes and I think it can be really good in here. So I'm going to close it in this case and turn on the uh, safe frame in here. Click on the uh, visual setting and go to the output and change my resolution to the uh, custom mode in here. So something like that will happen as you can see in here. I'm going to click on the uh, main bar, reduce the uh, field of view. And I want to focus on the uh, edge of this table, which related to this bed in here. So 51 degree is enough for me. 62% is enough for the exposure. And if I play with the depth field, I can focus on this wood panel in here, which you can see what truly really exactly happen when you focus on the lights and hidden panels inside your design. So 3.81 meter is enough and depth of field is about 11. Click on the image bar in here and in this case I can increase saturation a little bit to the 142 in here and color temperature can be get more warm than the other times for example 4800 Kelvin. Atmosphere is good but we have some work with the uh, spotlights. So I'm going to close it in here. Move it to this place. Sketch up in here. As a matter of fact, I want to delete these lights because I think they don't match with my design and render in here. So I'm going to click on the Enscape object and select this light in here. First of all, I want to increase the power of it from 600 to the 800 and press enter. After that, I need to right click and click on the select all instance. It helps me to select all of the uh, unique components which related to this light at the same period of time. Click on the paint bucket in here. It takes a bit of time. Click on the eyedropper. Pick up your color. Deep pink is my color. And now I can adjust the main color of my lighting in here. You can see what's really happened. When I change it to the yellow, my environment will go in the yellow tam in here. So 222 can be enough for me in this case. Select it, close it. Camera number 16, everything is fine. Come back to the uh, Enscape in here. As you can see, everything is done in this case. So I can come back to the image bar. Normalize the uh, color temperature. Minimize it another time. This time I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor. Paint Bucket in SketchUp. It takes a bit time. Select, select, select this color in here. Slate gray is my color. You can see what really happened when I decrease the uh, roughness. So pay attention to this part of my job. It will get more reflective. So don't do this work, especially in uh, small places because it completely destroy and ruin your render. So try to manage it. For example, 29.6% is enough. And about the floor, we have good reflection on the wood and some other things like that. But you can turn off the wood metallica and wood roughness, and it will generate some super reflective surface for you. It completely depends on you. In this case, I'm going to close it in here, move my camera to this place in SketchUp, Enscape Objects, select this light in here, and now look at these parts of my job. When I increase the light power, you can see what really happened. So try to work with them and manage them very simple and easy. For example, in this case, I can increase it to the 900, click on the uh, eyedropper, pick the color up and made some special color like this for example something like that 
190 for this deep pink color in here and something like this will be generate for you press F other type of cameras like 18 sorry 17 something like that can be good 16 15 and I think this one is better so click on the uh, output resolution and change it to the full HD reset your field of view something like that will happen press F on your keyboard edit your camera and now we have some problem in here which related to the eye height I'm going to type 13.1 something like that will happen 13.2 or maybe 13.3 alright everything is done save it and I think time for the rendering so I'm going to minimize it for the last time select this light in here click on the Enscape objects everything is fine paint bucket select it in here select the color of it change the color tonnage like that it's make your environment more calm than the other times so now time for the uh, rendering click on the visual setting try to focus on the good distance of your job for example 2.84 is enough the of field is about 14 percent and outline is about 13 percent click on the render and save it all right as you can see we created this super realistic render in Enscape 4.1 for the SketchUp, very simple and easy, only in a few minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if this tutorial helps you to improve your skills and talents in rendering, please support us by your comments, likes and subscribes. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching and goodbye.